didn't go to the Grammys. I already made up my mind I wasn't going to go to the Grammys. I didn't have a ticket. Some people were going to get me a pass later on today, but me, I'm not down for last minute things, you know. We, we, we plan ahead. That's how we move where I'm from. If it's not proper planning, we're not going to do it. Now, let's get into it. Um, anybody that's followed me for years knows I've always said that the Grammy Award is not our thing. They don't understand us. They don't understand our culture. They don't understand our music. They're never going to get it. Don't, don't get it twisted. The Grammy will never get anything that has to do with African music and African popular music and Afro beats. They will never get it. You know, shout outs to the Grammys and everything that they're doing. But when it comes to our culture, the Grammy will never get it. You know, they will never. And they've done that with hip hop as well. So they've done that with R&B as well. So it's nothing new. Um, best Global Award nominees included Burner Boy, included David O, two great African musicians uh, of the last 10 years and definitely of this entire generation. Um, David O with the album Timeless, Burner Boy with the album um, Remind Me of that incredible album that Burner dropped uh, last year now. Listen, where I, I see all the heartbreak emojis in there. As an Afrobeats fan, I am heartbroken. That ain't no, listen, the Grammy Awards, they benefited from the promo. I told them, Burner Boy, I told them. The Grammy Awards and, and the Recording Academy, they benefited from the popularity of the Nigerians that were nominated. Um, David O and Burner Boy, especially the last one week with what David O did for the Grammys and all those interviews and promo, they used him for marketing uh, purposes and uh, knowing fully well that as, as they do it, they were going to stab him in the heart after they've completely used and dumped him. Um, I was just about to post to say, this is over to the Eddies now. Listen, African artists, Afrobeats artists, y'all need to withdraw yourselves from, from, from submitting your music to the Grammys. That's all I'm going to say. Shout out to Tyler. Let's, let's, let's talk about Tyler. I said it, that if Tyler or Ira Star wins, especially Tyler, who in August was performing water in Germany where nobody was moving, and by September, water had become everybody's song from their grandmamas to their babies has become the shortest hit record, monster hit record in Afro-pop culture history to not only sweep the entire world, but pick up the biggest gong that represents music globally. So at 22 years old, a young, gifted talent such as Tyler deserves a huge pat on the back. Her team deserves a huge round of applause. You know, um, the record label definitely worked that hard and they made sure that Tyler uh, was going to pick up an award in the category of monsters. Ashake and Olamide, monster. Burner Boy, monster. Davido, monster. Ira Star, monster. You know, like, she... She swam with sharks. And she definitely, definitely deserves all the kudos. But it takes nothing, it, it takes nothing away from us by saying that I believe that the Grammy Awards um they used David O um to market their platform. They they used that man. Um very, very well. However, Burner Boy, David O, <laughs> their greatness. It's funny that Tyler wins the Grammy Award for Water. They're playing Water of Fela and Nikula Pokuti. Was
Tyler was walking. Was that a mistake? Was that that shows that they have no clue? Grammy has no clue about the award that they were given. They they awarded the best uh, African performance to Tyler Water. The band is playing Fela Nikula Pokuti Water. Whilst somebody that had a different water was walking on the stage. If you want to know about an organization that has no clue, the Grammy has no clue. None. None. It has to do with us. They have no clue. They know nothing about our culture. And there's no... We shouldn't be wasting our energy there. Less, this week was about us coming to America, really putting our flags down, you know, building our bridges with our African-American brothers and sisters, expanding our coast beyond Africa, the continent, and embracing our brothers and sisters here in America. TZ, I'm telling you, these punks gave Tyler Water an award they're playing Fela Nikula Pokuti Water in the background. Is that an organization that understands us? They don't care about us, man. They just want to use us for promotions. One billion people in Africa, they want us to continue to serve the Grammys. We ain't fucking with that, man. I tell you that for real. We're not messing with that. I don't like for me, I've got no I don't want nobody to come speak to me about no Grammys, man. And that's what I'm telling you for a fact. They used, they, they used, you know, David heavily to promote their platform. They relied hugely on the, the incredible numbers and, you know, and audience and eyes that Nigeria brings and Africa brings, you know. And they used our artists. They announced one of the greatest musicians of our time, Burna Boy, to be performing at the Grammys, which got us all excited. They nominated Burner Boy four times. They nominated David O three times. They, you know, but they knew that they were going to fuck them up. They were not going to, you know, they were not going to treat them right. They were not going to, come on, man. How can you give Tyler water and be playing Fela Nikula Pokuti water in the background? And they've been planning for that for some time. So they had no idea which water was which. It's crazy. Nah, man. Headies, it's over to you. Are you animal shout? Let's book Chris Brown. Let's book Burner Boy. Let's book David O. Let's bring our African American brothers and sisters. Let's go to Atlanta. Let's build the bridge. Let's bring somebody from the Caribbean, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Marshall Montano. Let's do something epic. Bring our brothers together and completely forget these punks, man. These guys ain't got nothing. They, listen, they're clueless. They're culturally clueless. Make me swear is different to water. He don't get any me. Almost 50 years apart. And they got it wrong. Are you kidding me? Nah, bro. It's... It's a sham. Like, there's no other sham. Nobody, nobody, nobody must believe that, that organization with our culture. With pop music, maybe they get it. With hip-hop, with hip-hop, we can even, we know that they never give, got it. Because Nicki Minaj still ain't won a Grammy. Arguably the greatest rapper, greatest female rapper, and are definitely in the top 10 rappers of the last generation has not picked up one. Nas has won Grammy. Listen, Nas has won Grammy that he won two years ago. So they're culturally clueless. Let's, let's get that 100% right. They know nothing about our culture. It's nothing. So we're not endorsing. We're, let, listen, we're not endorsing nothing. We're going to celebrate our sister, our princess from South Africa, who has an amazing career ahead of her, who is going to do incredible things across the continent, across the world. She's about to be a superstar of unimaginable levels. And you have to give her a massive round of applause for coming 
to the to spoil the party with an amazing single, an incredible push, and a wonderful outcome. And if you are not humble enough to acknowledge God's gift in that young lady and the blessing that she carries, then you are just an absolute hater. And in this area, we don't hate, man. We're, we're not going to be hating. We're going to love our sister. We're going to appreciate our sister. We're going to celebrate her. We're going to elevate her. You know, they, you know, they, 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 they used her in a, you know, in a, in a whole situation where once they, once I saw that Tyler nomination, my eyebrow went up. I'm like, yo, she's going to spoil the party. Trust me. Ask anybody that knows me, Kamal, DJ Lanre, Taye, everybody. I told everybody once that nomination came out, that is the person that everybody has to watch. She is coming to spoil the party. If you watch her trajectory, I saw her perform in August, Water, and people were just looking at her like this. Like, what's this song? One month. That song, everybody was performing it from grandmothers to young babies. And that is an element of grace and success that has to be acknowledged. If you go against that kind of grace, you, 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 you might not succeed as a human being because there's grace there. There is grace with that young lady that needs to be, you know, applauded on a different level. Look at Ira Starr. She's 21 years old. That's a pop princess. She's going to come back to the Grammys a million times over. In my opinion, Ira Starr is the most incredible young female on, Afri on, on the continent. Take it from me. However, I told you, the Grammys are clueless about our culture. They're clueless about black culture. They're clueless about African culture. And they've used us to promote their platform because they've got bigger plans. And when that bigger plans come, we're going to have a choice to make. Whether we continue to endorse that platform or we focus on our own. I'm telling you, They've got bigger plans. And when that plan is revealed, we're going to have to make a choice to endorse this or endorse ours. This was nothing but a sham. This was definitely nothing but a sham and deserves no more of our attention. Michael. Michael. So she can love by Jeba here. And can also do Miss D. Yeah, we could go chop pound the jam. Man. Listen, we're gonna eat pound the jam with my with my brother um and my family out there. Um but yeah. It's it's an absolute travesty and nothing but a shambolic move by the recording academy and and those that are making decisions. They used the superstardom of the African stars to elevate their platform whilst they were going to take from us.